Hello guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we will discuss an interview question from the Ruby and the question is related to the Ruby blocks. So the question is like how you can pass a block of code to a method and how to access that block in the method or sometimes interviewer can ask you that what is block given method in the Ruby and along with this you must know what is zilled in Ruby or what is its purpose. Okay, so you can see these three different question on my screen the first one is how to pass blocks of uh, argument to a method in ruby and then what is block given method in ruby and then what is zilled in ruby okay so these three are very basic question you might be asked regarding your ruby blocks and answering this question will show your ruby skill so basically in ruby blocks are a chunk of code that you can pass to methods to be executed okay they are often used for iteration callbacks and implementing custom control structure blocks can be defined using either curly braces for a single line block or with do and end keywords for multi line block okay so let me show you some example of uh, single line blocks and the multi line blocks so here is my subline okay so here you can see so first we will take the example of single line block so how we can do that for example let's say this is an array okay and then dot each okay and here what we can do number okay and then puts number into two okay so this is a block of a statement okay and this is a single line block okay and now let's discuss an example of multi-line block so how you can write multi-line blocks in ruby so here the simply is one two three dot h do and then number and here puts number into two okay and then end this okay so this is the example of multi-line block okay so let me comment it so single line block and then it is multi-line block multi-line block okay so these are the very basic uh, blocks that we know now let's discuss that what to do if we need to pass these blocks to a method as an argument okay so here we can take a very simple example so we need to create a ruby method so let's create ruby method like let's say def say hello for example okay and here we will implement something in this method so first we need to use yield yield okay and then if block given because these are the main elements that we're gonna discuss in this lecture okay and now you can use puts block executed okay and if you can if you wish you can add a line here as well like a block to be executed okay so here we have the method say hello and it has three statements like puts block to be executed and then we are using yield if block given and then puts block executed okay so here we have block given so what this block given okay so this block given is a method that is used within a method definition to check if a block has been passed to the method okay let me explain how it works okay so when you define a method that can optionally take a block you can use block given to determine if a block was provided when the method was called it returns true if a block was given and false if block was not given to that method as argument okay this is particularly useful when you want to conditionally execute certain code based on whether a block is provided by the caller or of your method okay so now let's see how we can call this method with argument so we can call it like say hello do and now we need to provide some statements here for example let's say puts like uh, hi how are you okay and then other statement could be like let's say puts i am fine how about you okay so this is the method and this is the method we are calling with some block okay so here you can see that this is the block where we have multiple lines and when we call this method at say hello we are calling this method with some block okay so this is our example 
okay and now you can see that we have yield keyword and a block given so we already discussed that what is the purpose of using block given now let's discuss what is yield keyword here okay so this yield keyword used within a method to transfer the control from the method to a block provided at the time the method was called this allow the block to be executed its code at the point where yield is called and then control returns to the method itself after block has been executed okay now let me explain here that this is the method and this is the method we are calling so when you call this method first this line will get executed okay because this is not dependent on any block and then our uh, execution comes to this yield keyword these two statement will get print on the screen or whatever the logic you written okay so that will be executed and once this block has been finished or execution of this block has been finished our control returns to this block executed statement or whatever we have logic after the yield keyword okay now let's execute this piece of code in the rails console okay so just copy this so copy this one okay and now let's switch to the rails terminal okay and here what we can do let's run rails console Either if you wish you can do this on IRB console as well or you can create a separate Ruby file and then execute that on terminal okay but just to save time I'm just calling copy and pasting in the rails console okay so now when you submit you can see that what we are seeing that the first the line is printed as block to be executed okay okay so this is the line which is not dependent on yield okay and as soon as the yield has been identified here you can see that uh, this block get executed so what this block contains hi how are you and i'm fine how about you okay so these are the statement which is executed by the yield okay and when the yield has been finished or the block has been finished which we provided to the method control returns to this statement which is block executed okay so this is how it works when we want to pass a block of code or sorry a code block to the method as argument okay now let me show you that what happened if we remove this block given okay so let's remove that if we sorry if we remove this block given so let's uh, copy this code again and execute okay so if i paste it here and execute you can still see the same output why because the block given is doesn't matter here because we are using yield and we are calling this method with the block passing to it okay so that's why it get ex executed okay now what happened if you only call say hello without using block given say hello if you call this you will see that uh, this line has been executed because it is not dependent on the block or not dependent on the yield but as soon as we get the control on the yield you can see that we see this local jump error okay and that's why it uh, does not work because uh, whenever you use yield okay it is expecting that you are passing some block to it definitely or whatever the method you are calling okay so you are passing passing some block definitely okay that's why block given is important to check that whether a block is uh, provided or not okay so when we add the block given here again okay and now if we call only say hello okay you will see that yield will not get executed why because we used the block given here okay and it is uh, returning the true or false value so we are calling this method without providing any block so this yield statement is not executed okay so the control remains on the this block to be executed and block executed okay so this is how you can handle the exception using block given method if you are using yield in some method and not providing any block to it okay so this is the better way of programming okay so i hope you can you might enjoy this lecture and you got the idea like how we can use yield and block given methods to handle the exception in a method where we need to provide a block and we do not provide it or how we can provide a block of code to a method as argument okay so i hope you like this lecture and all three questions that i mentioned on the screen at the start of the lecture are answered here okay so here you can see that we answered all these three questions okay so thanks for watching this and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe